So it's been a while since I posted, but I wanted to show you guys this. This machine here is gonna change my life. This is a filament joiner, and I've got all of this PET filament that I've made from plastic bottles, and normally I would join these uh, manually by using a soldering iron and a piece of Bowden tube, and it's quite fiddly, and you know, I have to put it on bigger spools, but this machine here is gonna make this so much easier. So I've already got a spool started here with some of my PET already on it. And I have all these short sections here that I made from some sparkling ice bottles. Let me show you how this works. Right, I've got the machine all set up here. I've got my spool started. I've got another section ready to go. And what I'm going to be doing is putting this into the machine and through this extruder, which is going to bring two ends together. It's going to heat those two ends together allow it to cool down and move it through a, a Bowden tube. There's no trimming or anything that I have to do and it's all automatic. When it's done, it'll eject out, I can check the weld, and if I tell it to continue, it'll spool that up and let me do the next one. So, let's get this one started in here. There we go, it's all automatic, I just run it in. There it's heating up, it's got the two ends joined together. And this takes a few seconds, it'll take a few seconds to heat it up to join it, and then there's like a 50 or 60 second cool down period. And then it'll eject that filament and let me check the, the weld that it made. And then spool it up. Now you can see over here the spool is moving, but there's kind of a clutch on it where it, where it slips, but it keeps tension on this part of the filament the whole time on my spool so it doesn't unravel. PET filament is um, very stiff, so if I didn't keep pressure on this, it would want to unwind. Okay, the heating is done. It's running the cooling cycle now. Let's push this button here. We want it to make sure that it allows me to check the joint. Still cooling, we want to make sure that's cooled off so that it doesn't um, bend when it comes out of the machine. Almost done. Now I've pressed this little button here that says check and what that's going to do is it ejects, it'll stop at a point where I can look at that weld. So let me show you here, we'll do a close up of that weld that it just made. And here we have a close-up of that weld. And you can see that that's, oh, two or three millimeters long. So unlike the, the welds that I normally make with the soldering iron, this is much longer, and this is just a really super strong weld. And it's all cooled off here. It's not flexing or anything. So I can come over to the machine here. I'm going to click on that, that check button and it's going to spool that up and allow me to start the next one. That weld is complete. Let's go ahead and spool up this portion and we'll start the next one. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to push the check. And it's going to take that filament that we just added and start putting it onto the spool and then it's going to stop when that is in the right position here and allow me to add the next one. I'm telling you, this machine is going to change my life, so now I can process all of my smaller um, soda bottles and use that plastic, and I don't have to spend so much time welding all of these sections together and worrying about the welds breaking. This thing is phenomenal. Here comes the end of it, and it's going through some... Um, like filament out sensors inside of the machine, it gets a position where it needs to be. It stops and tells me to insert the next one. So there we have it. This thing is the bomb. There's another completed weld. Another perfect one, lots of good overlap. You can see the spool are still sort of running slowly here and keeping tension on that. We'll come back over here. Quick check. That'll allow that to spool up. 
And this is kind of a well, a shot here of the inside of it. See, we have two different extruders here. There's some um, switch sensors in here and here. Here's our heating element. And within that, there's a special piece of Bowden tubing in this thermistor. And you can see here it's bringing in this section of filament that I just added. And that'll bring that in. And at the end of it, it'll sense where the end of it is. And it'll stop in the right position inside that heating element there and allow me to put the next one in. Alright, ready for the next one.